I'm now going to start a new series, a mini series of shorts on how to make a more improved streamer mount. Um, on this channel, I've been focusing on streamers because for low to mid power, up to like your E and F engines, streamers perform extremely well and they're very good for your models to be easy to spot when they're very high. Uh, streamers are tricky. They're very challenging to build and to make sure that they work correctly. I've built many different streamer designs on this channel, but I have found there are some problems. But let me show you what I've been doing so far, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing better. This is a typical streamer mount where there's a loop on the end of a toothpick with a Kevlar cord. This is a 300 pound Kevlar cord with a drop of CA glue in the middle. Although this looks like it's going to be a really, really good attachment and the air hits the end of the streamer, it looks great. Unfortunately, the toothpick has cracked in the middle several times. I would not have expected that. There's a large drop of glue. The toothpick is relatively strong, but yet the toothpick has cracked several times. So I'm going to have to improve on this and find something that's a little bit more durable. What I want to do is I want to make a modular streamer and a keeping with the type of streamer that I'm building, which is the streamer which is winding from the center. So this winds from the center to the outside. And we can see that we have both ends on the outside of the streamer so I can connect a Kevlar cord onto both of them. So what's really nice is I have two Kevlar cords as attachment points. And I can attach one cord near the rocket body, the other near the nose cone. And I've talked about that before. And when the streamer opens up, it makes a very nice U shape and that then uh, provides a lot more drag than just the streamer wiggling by itself as the rocket falls down. So these streamers perform extremely well. I call that the loop streamer. Um, the winding technique allows the streamer to open up extremely fast. But now I have to focus back on getting the mounting technique on the ends a lot better. You see, I've been using toothpicks for almost everything. But with the toothpick, besides the fact that the toothpick cracks, what I also found is that if you look at this particular mount, there's a large drop of CA glue here, and that makes it somewhat hard to fit inside the rocket body. So if you got the curve of the rocket body, you know, we got this great big glob of glue here, and that makes it really, really hard to fit the streamer in very smoothly. So I want to try to improve on that. So these are the two problems that I want to address, is getting rid of this large globby, uh, glob of glue with the Kevlar cord and the toothpick. I need something that's a little bit better and a little bit more uh, durable, and I'm going to be focusing on that in the next couple of videos.